Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I wanted to go ahead and try some new products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I recently did a video on their, I want to say hot jalapeno palette, which was a little four pan eyeshadow palette, all green colors, super, super pretty. I was surprisingly really impressed with the quality. I can link that down below for y'all if you're interested in watching it, but I decided to go ahead and go back on the website because I had made an order for just that. I did free shipping. I spent $3. I was happy, but then I was like, wow, that was actually really, really good. So I went back on their website and grabbed a bunch of new products that had really intrigued me. There's some lip products, some face products, another one of the little four pan eyeshadows. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. I don't have a full face worth of stuff, but I thought we could just go ahead and try things and I'll throw in products that I already have as we go. So the first thing that I have here is their Luminous Putty Primer and it says the shade is Universal Glow. It's infused with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen. This really, really intrigued me. I actually do have their original putty primer, but I haven't opened it yet. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on. And I bought the Luminous one just because I thought that would work a little bit better for me because I do have more dry skin and like no matter no matter how good and poor filling or smoothing a primer is, if it doesn't hydrate, then I'm just not going to be drawn to use it a lot. So I don't know, this one just really intrigued me. I did buy this like a month ago, but they messed up one thing in my order. So I was waiting for the replacement and the timing to be able to film this all at once. It doesn't really smell like anything. It honestly reminds me of brush soap. All right, so I just kind of messed that up a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of product and just put that into my T-zone. Hmm. I mean, I guess it does have a slight glow to it. Doesn't feel super hydrating. I don't know, I, I keep wanting to go in with more even though I probably don't need that much. I really like that it doesn't have a smell. I think that'll be nice for sensitive skin. I feel like it sunk in well. I mean, I feel like it looks just slightly like the tiniest, tiniest amount of luminosity, but it doesn't feel super matte or drying either. So I'm definitely going to keep testing that out. I don't have a new foundation to dry, so I'm just going to quickly go into my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream in the shade Fair. So I'm pretty sure out of everything today, the thing I'm most excited to try is their new hydrating camo concealer, which looks like this. This was the item they accidentally sent me the wrong one. They sent the original camo concealer, which I really don't like. They also sent the wrong shade. So I had to figure out someone to give this to the shade Fair Rose. Um, so I personally picked up the shade Fair Warm because I do prefer my concealer to have a little bit more yellow to it. But I just, I don't know, super drawn to the idea of a hydrating concealer and something you know, if it still has good coverage, but also looks more luminous, like that just sounds so good to me. I feel like all the concealers that I have, I like them, but none of them I love. So here we go again. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and take just a tiny little bit, pop it on the inner corner, and then just a little bit on the outer part. I have to give credit where credit's due. Robert Walsh, um, he does reaction videos to different uh, YouTubers and normally I'm not drawn to that kind of content at all because a lot of people are just rude and I don't know I think it's all about the way you present yourself and I think he does a fantabulous job I really enjoy his channel but he kind of talked about using just a little bit of concealer on the inner part a little bit on the outer part and then taking whatever's left over in the middle so that you're not using so much product and I mean I've already kind of been doing the thing where I use less and less concealer and not bringing it down so far and everything, but I do really like his technique. I'll have him linked down below in case you haven't heard of him. I feel like his thumbnails are kind of clickbaity, so it took me a while of seeing him in my suggested before I finally gave him a chance, but I really, really like his content. And I feel like that looks super nice. Like, so glowy and just like the perfect amount of coverage. I feel like it covered really, really well. All right, I feel like that looks super nice. I'm really impressed. I feel like that's the first good first impression I've had of a concealer in a minute. Like I've had okay ones, but this is the first one where I'm like, wow, I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take just a little bit on my nose and on the center of my forehead, just a tiny bit. I feel like a little goes a long way. I'm gonna go into my RCMA No Color Powder and just very, very lightly set underneath my eyes. 
For bronzer today, I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty Into Sun Bronzer. All right, so jumping into eyes, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in the shade Illustrate to prime. I feel like with this primer, less is definitely more. I actually picked up two more of their new bite-sized eyeshadows just because I really like the quality, but after seeing them in person, this one called Berry Bad, I don't know, I liked it more online, I don't know if you can tell, but the shimmers are just a little bit darker, and I personally don't wear colors like that all over the lid as often. I need something, Just I just like to have a lighter shimmer, so I feel like that's something I wouldn't use it often. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to my sister, actually. I feel like she would like those colors, but this one is so pretty. I really want it to work out. I'm hopeful. $3, good purple shadows, I'm about it. I'm embarrassed, but I was looking up how to pronounce this name. It looks like a Kai, but it looks like a Acai. 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 That doesn't even make sense. Okay. I'm going to have it listed in the description box so I don't have to say it again. So here's what it looks like. So the light purple. I mean, it's not like the most pigmented shadow ever, but it does feel super creamy and it looks more on the buildable side. And then we've got a nice metallic a purpley blue shade, a more satiny purple, and then a deeper kind of purpley blue. I feel like the metallic shades in the green one were a little bit more creamy, but I do really like the two matte shades in here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the lightest matte shade. So it does have a little bit of kickback, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in my crease. Blend upwards. And just build it up a little bit because it's more of a pastel shade. I'm also going to take that shade on a pencil brush and just blend that along the lower lash line as well. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and take the deepest matte shade. I'm going to take that on a slightly smaller, more tapered crease brush and start that off in my outer V. I went it with just a tiny, tiny little bit. I figure it's probably better to just add a little, blend it out, add more kind of thing. Oh no, I just totally forgot what I was doing. On this eye, I did like the whole outer corner, just blending in, and then on this eye, I was like going in, not even paying attention. I didn't want to go in all the way with that color. Dang it. I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back into my previous brush and just blend over the edge. I feel like everything is blending pretty nicely right now. I'm impressed. I feel like it looks a little bit more blue on the eyes than purple. It's kind of that in-between. I think I'm going to go back into some more of that lightest shade and just blend that over top. Don't want to lose it. All right, so now for the lid, I'm going to go into this metallic one right here, and I'm definitely going to spray my brush just because it felt a little bit crumbly when I was swatching it. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pop that all over the lid. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I really, really like how that's going. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the more satiny shade, if I can open it, this purple right here on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take just a slightly smaller pencil brush just to get that nice and close. Add some smokiness. Honestly, so pretty. Like, I just can't believe how good. Oh, man, I just went into the wrong shade. I went into the darkest shade. That's fine. I'm just going to use that a little bit on the outermost part but anyways I just can't believe how good these are for three dollars I think I'm actually gonna take that same pencil brush and go back into that lightest shade and just throw a little bit more on the lower lash line I think even if you went in with like a white base and then used that matte shade all over the lid it'd be really pretty too there is no inner corner shade in this palette but I do have an inner corner shade from e.l.f. I was creeping on their new items on their website. I saw that they came out with a liquid glitter eyeshadow 
could not resist so I grabbed this shade which is called Disco Queen. It looks to be kind of like a light silvery color. I figured I would do a video like this and I thought it would go really good with that palette. I think this was like five dollars or something so I'm just super curious to test out the formula. I love liquid shadows. Oh my god it's so cute and tiny. It's a little baby. I feel like it's kind of hard to get product out like I feel like I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes but there's what it looks like. So it's just kind of like a white silvery shade and it has a bunch of multicolored like rainbowy type flecks in it. It's so pretty. My camera's not even picking up the multi-dimensional colors in it but they're there. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit more on my hand here and use a pencil brush to apply it. And I'm going to pop that whew, on the inner corner. That is so pretty. And I know my camera is not going to pick it up, but it has, it's like a rainbow in it. I think that's one of the prettiest, like, inner corner liquid shadows I've ever seen. I'm going to see, maybe when I finish this video, I'm going to, like, try and take some pictures with my phone really up close, because sometimes that captures colors a little bit better. And if I can insert something in, I will right now, because it is so pretty. All right, quickly off camera, I'm going to go ahead and add some liner, my waterline, some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, just in case you're curious, I went ahead and used my RNC in liner in the shade Deep Purple. Unfortunately, these aren't available anymore. They're so good. I got them on, like, super clearance. I don't know what happened to RNC in. It was a good brand, but they've just slowly gone away. And then I also used the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. So for blush today, I also picked out a new blush from e.l.f. And this is their primer infused blush in the shade Always Cheeky. It says for long lasting wear. What does primer inf infused blush even mean? I don't know, but it's pulled me in. So I decided to go ahead and pick up one, even though I know I really, really don't need any more blushes. I need to see if I can find a replacement for Sweet Retreat from e.l.f. because this is what it looks like and it's super old. I know it's a powder product, but I've had this for like a while, probably like five years or something like that. So I feel like I should get rid of it, even though I've loved this so, so much. And I know it doesn't look like I've used it that much, but I really have consistently used this for so long. I feel like Sweet Retreat is definitely a little bit more pink. So I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find if they completely discontinue that or anything I need to look into it but either way I thought this was pretty this is the shade always cheeky if I didn't say it yet I mean it's definitely a little bit more on like the peachy warm side but not super super warm I feel like the compact is super sleek as well it seems really really nice super smooth oh yeah that looks like a really light peach so there's what it looks like just a little flush of color Ooh. Okay, so first impression, again, I feel like I like it. Um, seems pretty smooth on the skin. I feel like it blended super easy and it's giving me just a nice amount of color without it being too much. I feel like I don't have to be too careful with this blush. I feel like I definitely did the thing where I bought cool tone stuff for my eyes, warm tone stuff for my face, unfortunately, so it's not going to go perfectly, but I grabbed their highlighter in the shade White Gold as their metallic flare highlighter. Um, I was actually already kind of creeping on the website. I kind of added a card. I kind of left and went back and was kind of like, mm, I don't know, do I make this purchase or not? And I got a comment from someone, I can't remember who, but they were saying specifically how good Elf's new highlighters were. And I thought, mm, okay, <laughs> talk me into it. I definitely like the packaging of the blush a little bit more. That's a little bit more sleek, but the actual imprint on here is actually super pretty. Kind of reminds me of something like you'd see from Dior. If there was like a D in the middle. Huh. Okay, so I'm trying to like, I'm t swatching it and I feel like not that much is coming up. It kind of feels weird just because of the pattern. I feel like I need to get more into there. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Amrezy highlighter actually. And here's the Amrezy highlighter. I don't know. Actually, the Amrezy highlighter is a little bit darker. But I feel like the way they look is pretty similar. I don't know what I did with my Sigma highlighting brush, which is what I really want to use because it's a little bit denser, but I'm just going to go into one that I have from Japanese because I don't know where the Sigma went. Pick up a little bit of product. Just put that on the tops of the cheekbones. I feel like I'm having to like swirl my brush in a lot to pick up product. Like I said, you'd probably want to go into 
something a little bit more dense with this formula. The way it looks on the cheek kind of reminds me of the ColourPop Horse and Carriage Highlighter. But that one's a little bit smoother. I don't know. I don't know if I love that one. I mean, I feel like it looks good. But I don't know if it would be a favorite. But sometimes I say that about highlighters on first impression. And then I wear them longer and I fall in love with them. Or I fall out of love with them. So we'll see. Alright, so I also picked up their Glow Dewy Mist, which has coconut and argan oil. It looks like this. I think their skincare was like buy one, get one, get 20% off, or I don't know. There was something about it. So they also got their little um, acne fighting spot gel with aloe, which I thought I'd give a chance. So this is just a dewy setting spray, I'm assuming. I'm going to go ahead and try it. I don't know if I've read any reviews on this. I just have been, again, searching for like the perfect dewy spray. Something that's affordable, but gives me touch of vibes. And the hunt is still continuing. Oh, I did that little spot thing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it smells super, super coconutty. Um, kind of reminds me of that Marc Jacobs bronzer, the coconut bronzer. Dang, I've never had um, a setting spray do the white spots for me before. Alright, so I have two lip options and I'm gonna go ahead and try them both on actually just to give you an opinion on the formula. So I grabbed one of their new satin cream lipsticks in the shade Seriously Satin, I think is what this one is called. It was the lightest shade. Just looked like a nice nude and it was only $3 so I thought it was worth giving a shot. Especially, I don't know, I had such a good um, experience with the Milani lipsticks and it reminded me just, you know, drugstore lipsticks really can be so good. It's kind of frustrating when you're cruelty free because so many brands you can't use, but I thought this color just looks super, super pretty. And especially if it's a nice satiny formula, hmm, it doesn't feel that creamy swatching it, but I do really like the color. So let's just go ahead and try that on. color actually reminds me a lot of a lipstick that I just got from Lawless Beauty recently. Like that super light kind of pink. I don't know if you can tell, but it immediately started separating and looking super not nice. I'm going to go ahead and top it with a gloss just to see how it reacts and then we'll try the other lip product on. Hmm. Hmm. Not looking the best. I don't know. Going to have to keep trying that out. I'm not... Not sure how I feel about that formula. I just feel like it wasn't as creamy as I was hoping for. And it kind of did that thing where some lighter lipsticks automatically just look like that gross texture on your lips. So the other lip product that I grabbed was their Sheer Slip Lipstick in the shade Grapefruit. Um, so I feel like this just looked like one of those more like sheer, juicy, glossy looking lipsticks. They didn't really have a super neutral color. Um, but I thought like a light pink could be potentially pretty. So I was just super curious to try the formula. There's what it looks like. I mean, I like the packaging on this one. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so much for sheer. <laughs> That's what happens when you shop online. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so pink. The thing is, though, that I actually do think the formula feels super nice. Like, it feels very creamy. feels glossy. Um, kind of reminds me of Paul and Joe lipsticks, actually, which are way more expensive. I think this was, like, $6. But the color... It's not my color. Let's do the thing. Alright, that's a lot better. Maybe just go in with a gloss over that and we'll call it a day. Alright, I'm going to go into my e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Nude Kiss. I would use Pink Kiss, but I don't know where I put it at the moment. Alright, y'all, so this is the finished look. And I do overall really like how it turned out. I feel like the stars of the show today, for one, definitely the thing that I liked the most was the hydrating camo concealer. I feel like it hasn't really creased, but it has sunk into like two or three lines that I have underneath my eyes, just a tiny, tiny little bit over the course of this video, but it doesn't look bad by any means, and it looks super, super hydrated and soft and luminous and fresh underneath the eyes. I did set it with just a tiny, tiny little bit of powder, but overall, definitely super happy with this so far. One of the best concealers I've tried in a minute. 
Uh, I can't wait to keep using it and just seeing on the daily how I feel. I feel like I could go in with even less product if I was doing uh, my typical like no foundation type of routine that I do a lot during the day. I also really liked the palette. I'm really so impressed by the quality of these little quads. I love the look that I did. I feel like it's such a pretty blown out purpley blue smoky eye. It's kind of crazy to believe like the pigmentation, the blendability for $3. Super, super good in my opinion. I also thought the blush was nice. I like the way the highlighter is looking on the skin. It is emphasizing texture a little bit, but it's super, super metallic. Um, I'm curious to try this with, like I said, a denser highlighter brush. I think that'll do it a lot of favors, but I do like the color. And again, super, super affordable. What else did I try? I'm like trying to go back in my memory. I also thought the primer was decent. Um, definitely gonna keep testing that out. I feel like you can only say so much about a primer from first impression. The setting spray though, this is kind of a fail. Like the fact that it had like little white spots all over my face. I don't know if I just didn't set it enough or maybe it's because it was the first time I used it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use this as like a skincare kind of thing. You can spray a light layer of mist over your makeup or bare skin with eyes closed. Layer or continue to spray throughout the day as desired. Hmm. If anyone else has tried this, I'd love to know your opinion on it. I literally just said my outro, turned off the camera and everything, put my hair up, and then I'm like, wait, I forgot to say how impressed I am also by this little Disco Queen liquid shadow. Like I said on the inner corner, it looks so, so beautiful. If you're looking for something a little bit more cool toned, some rainbow-esque glitter for your inner corner, or I mean, I guess you could technically throw this on the lid. I obviously haven't tried it like that yet, but on the inner corner, it's perfection. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.